Hey guys, it's Juliet from Jules Inspired. I'm speaking to you from the gorgeous Lake Zurich in Switzerland. Too gorgeous for me not to share with you guys. So check out this view that I have behind me. It's morning here and the, there are not too many people out. It's a Sunday, so most things are closed. But I just wanted to pop down and to share kind of my experience that I've had in Switzerland because this country has really cracked me open. I've traveled all my life, something I love to do, and with each experience I've learned that I can grow and learn and expand from every place I go because everything brings something new. And in particular, over the past three weeks while being in Switzerland and then in Berlin for a weekend, I've really just let myself go. And by saying that, I mean I've let myself really make mistakes and be okay with making mistakes and learning from that and who I truly am once I make those mistakes. It was interesting to graduate college and then to make the decision to pursue my passion in life coaching and expanding my own business. It's been fulfilling and a wild ride, but also at the same time, you kind of try and find a balance between who you are in your work and then who you are outside of that. And I don't think I was handling that balance quite well. You know, I I'm living what I'm what I'm speaking about and guiding people with, you know, because if I weren't walking my talk, I would feel uh, like a fool, really, and, it, and I don't think you guys would um, really connect with me as, as much as you are. But also what I found out is that I was really putting myself in the coaching mode all the time. So that was when I was with my clients, but then when I left too, so with my friends, with my family, with myself. And I wasn't allowing myself to really just be and be raw and, and, and let myself go sometimes. So I'm asking you guys, do you ever find yourself caught up in being a certain stereotype of yourself? Whether it's being in your corporate job and bringing that persona back at home, or being the jokester all the time and you just can't seem to find yourself outside of being that jokester. There's something about letting yourself make mistakes, letting yourself shake things up and seeing what comes up for you. Traveling has helped me do this and I just want to offer to you guys to shake things up. You know, take your family on vacation to go camping for a weekend. Go skydiving. If you do, you better send me a picture. Go book that flight to wherever you want it to go and see what comes up for you. Because if you don't do it now, you're going to keep in this stereotype, keep in this persona, and you might find yourself caught up and not feel, feeling so fulfilled because you weren't actually letting yourself go and just being a human and, and just living and making mistakes. Who knows? But I offer you today to just step outside of your comfort zone and let yourself be you 100%. Because once you do and let yourself go, you'll see that you expand and your relationships will expand and people will really listen to you and hear what you wanna say. Because it's not just that, that stereotype that you or they perceive you as anymore. Make those mistakes. Live, act, be raw. Come back to your authentic self and see what comes up for you. Our life here is a growing experience and from each thing that we're given, we're able to expand and crack ourselves open that much more. And I'm telling you, it's fun and it's exciting and I, and I wish this for every single one of you. So in the comments below, just let me know what are you going to do to shake things up? What are you going to do to jazz up your life right now, today, this weekend, whatever comes up for you? I can't wait to hear from you guys. If you want to listen to more of my bliss tips and to read up go to www.julesinspired.com. So from Zurich to wherever you guys are, I'm signing off. Much love.